So, hello everyone, and thank you, Thomas, for the introduction. Uh, it's great to be here at SLUS. Uh, I'm just looking, looking at the slides. Can I get <coughs> my own slides? Yeah, thank you. So, um, Umbra has been working with the best video game developers doing the uh, graphically best looking games since 2007. And some of the games that we are, have been working with include Call of Duty, Destiny, Witcher 3, World of Tanks, and Quantum Break. So, these like high end AAA games. And uh, our product is a graphics middleware component uh, for speeding up the rendering and content creation of uh, 3D graphics. <coughs> so, in the background video, uh, you're going to see samples of the, some of the games that our partners uh, and users create. Every year they keep pushing back the boundaries on, of, on what can be rendered real-time on the currently available hardware. And today I want to talk about the tools that we create to enable these games and what goes into creation of these tools. So as a middleware provider, we've had the privilege to work with uh, most, most of the best game engines, including the third-party engines such as Unity and Unreal, and we pretty much know those engines inside out. And also we've, had, we've worked with tens of different in-house engines, and we've learned that there's uh, some things that are common with all, all of these engines. And when we started uh, at Umbra, when we started working, uh, with our product and marketing, our message was quite simple, like Umbra gives you faster frame rates. And the product was quite technical and aimed mostly at programmers and uh, to promise to give them better technical tools. And uh, so how did this work out? Well, we did get a lot of users and they did get better frame rates. But soon we figured out that what the game developers really want to do is create these uh, amazing new game worlds. And what they really need in addition to great rendering performance is great tools for the artists to help create those worlds. So, <clears throat> in fact, nowadays the uh, most important job of a graphics programmer at the game studio is not, not uh, simply creating code to display uh, great graphics. The most important job is to create tools that help the artists to create those worlds. So it's not, not just enough to make great code, you have to make great tools that people can use. And for example, one of the companies that we've been working with is Unity. And uh, when we started working with them, their first question was not like how much performance you can give it. The first question was, how can we make this product easier to use? And of course, performance was important too, but it only came after the usability. And I think that's one of the key reasons why Unity, Unity has become so successful. Because they really concentrate on the, on the usability and not, not just performance or features. And so things that help uh, the artist are fast content iteration, uh, automatic tools instead of loads of different parameters, and uh, also great visualizations. So uh, if the rendering performance is bad, you have to visualize to them why, why is it bad? Like, why doesn't it render fast? Okay, there's too many triangles. Why is there too many triangles? You have to show them. And the main feature of Umbra is visibility optimization. So we figure out what parts of the game world are visible and relevant to the player and allow the rendering engine and the artist to concentrate only on the, on the relevant parts. 
This sounds like it's common sense, but it's actually a really difficult problem to solve. And it might be even the most difficult problem in computer graphics. And for example, one way to do it, uh, the, the artists add uh, these portals or other ma manual markup to the game, game scene. And it works pretty well in some cases, but if you have a large world, the, the amount of manual work just uh, blows up and it's, it's not feasible to do that. The other option is to do this uh, pre-processing, like a brute force pre-processing. You run computations overnight and in the morning you might get good results, but of course that kills the content iteration times. So any change you make in the scene, you would have to wait for many hours for it to take effect. So the solution we created at Umbra is, is like an automated way of doing this. We, uh, we do it automatically and quickly, and it removes both the need for uh, manual markups and long computation times. So we started with, OK, let's give faster frame rates, and we've gone into, like, let's, let's make better tools for the artists. And because as 3D content creation becomes more and more expensive and difficult, even the best professionals really just want easy to use tools because they want to concentrate on what's really important. Concentrate, concentrate on creating the great graphics and creating the, the game worlds. So, and that's also obvious lesson for to all, all start, startups here. Like, remember to make your product easy to use. And nowadays, uh, our message, message is, instead of faster frame rates, is our message is Umbra helps you create awesome worlds. Um, Umbra powers up your level creation and rendering. And Umbra helps your artist to spend the time on what really matters. Uh, so what, what is next? Where, what, what, where do we want to go from here? Well, I think we still need to keep improving the tools. Uh, as tool developers, our, our goal, single goal should be to make the our users like, really kick ass, like make them do, do magic with the tools. Because but that's what games are, like, they are magic, something that's not possible to do in the real world. So any, any content people create, we want to help that to display that on, on any, any device of your choice. Like we want to remove all the limitations on rendering budgets and memory budgets so that you could just create content and it would work like magic everywhere. So we really would want, want our message to be like Umbra helps you create magic, but of course we still have some way to go, do some work to do to go there. But this is what any tool developer should be aiming for. Probably like really make your users kick ass. So uh, as the like, takeaway from this, how, how, do you, how do you get to magic? How do you create magic? Well, first, you have to create some amazing new technology. Of course, you have to have some, some new idea. But then you have to work like really, really hard to make that easy to use. And that's the, that's the most work. Just make it easy to use for the users. And then in the end, you just give that out to real users, give it out to amazing artists. And then, then you just sit back and wait to see what happens. And the magic will come out from the other end of the pipe. So thank you.